We all know about prostate cancer and how men of a certain age should be tested, but there's another type of reproductive cancer affecting younger men. Only problem is, there's no test, but there are ways to prevent it from becoming fatal. Today I'm cancer free, and now the journey begins. It is a journey to save the lives of young men. At just 26, Thomas Cantley was diagnosed with stage three testicular cancer. Why me? I have perfect health. Which is why he ignored the signs. Yeah, I had a couple symptoms where I had slight enlargement. Uh, there was slight discomfort. That's part of the problem, says internal medicine specialist Bernard Lewin. Since testicular cancer mostly affects men between the ages of 20 and 34, it's a disease young men often ignore. To look for any uh, increase in size, to note any tenderness when he fills the testicle or any lump that's there. But the good news is that almost uh, without exception, it is curable. Have you guys ever heard of testicular cancer? That's why Thomas started an education movement called I Am Ballsy. He lost one testicle to cancer. Now he's documenting his journey of survival. Anyone touched by cancer of any kind is encouraged to sign the ball. We're going to be pushing this ball across America. Raising awareness about a deadly disease that doesn't have to be. Now, testicular cancer is rare. The American Cancer Society reports a little more than 8,000 men will be diagnosed this year. And out of those diagnosed, nearly 400 young men, though, will die.